Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up an import pun for a multiplayer project. I'm going to go to window and click on asset store and I'm going to wait for this to open up. And now I'm going to search for photon pun 2. And I'm going to scroll down until I find it, this one right here. And so I'm going to click on it. And if you already have it downloaded, you can press download and I'm going to just press import. And I'm going to continue. Now let's go to window. I'm going to go over Photon Unity Networking and press Pun Wizard. I'm going to press Setup Project. I'm going to have to go to my web browser. And I'm going to go to PhotonEngine.com. And I'm going to press Sign In if you already have an account. And Sign In. And now I'm going to press Create New App. I'm going to select Photon Pun. I'm going to type in my application name, so Multiplayer Project. And you can put in wherever you want here, and now I'm going to press Create. So now here's my project. I'm going to double click on this app ID right here, and press Control C to copy it. And I'm going to go back to Unity and paste this in right here, and press Setup Project. So there we go, it's all set up. Right click, go to Create. I'm going to go to Scene and call this menu. Now I'm going to double click on it and let's create some simple buttons. So I'm going to go to UI and then go to button and then let me go to 2D view and I'm going to put this in the middle of the screen and let me make it bigger and let me just call this play button And for the text here, let me just say play. And I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm going to right click, go to UI, and go to input fields. And I'm going to put this right below the play button and scale it up. And here I'm going to type enter name. Okay, I'm going to right click, go to create empty, and call this menu manager. I'm going to press add components, search for menu manager, press new scripts, and I'm going to press create and add to open this up in Visual Studio. We first have to be using photon.pun and using photon.realtime and using unityengine.ui. And over here, right beside the mono behavior, I'm going to type mono behavior pun callbacks. So now, um, callbacks. I'm going to delete this comments right here and type public input field player name and public button play button. In the start function, I'm going to type play button that interactable equals false. And I'm going to type photon network dot connect using settings. This will connect to the photon server. And right here, I'm going to make a public void play. And I'm going to type string player name text is equal to player name dot text. And after this, I'm going to type photon network dot join random room to join a room. And down here, I'm going to type override void on join random failed. So if we couldn't join a random room, then we need to create a new room. So I'm going to type room options. So right here, we're going to create a new room. Room options is visible. Equals true. Room ops that is open equals true, and we need to create a room name. So string room name equals room plus random dot range from zero to a thousand. So this is a random room name, 
and then I'm going to type photon network dot create room and for room name I'm going to type room name room options room ops and that should be it and then void on joined room override void on joined room then we'll type photon network dot dot load level and I'll type in one up here let me just type photon network dot automatically sync scene equals true and before we leave I'm just gonna type photon network dot nickname is equal to player name dot text Okay, I'm going to save the script and go back to Unity. And I'm going to assign these variables, so the player name and the play button script button. And I'm going to go to file and go to build settings. Press add all open scenes. And I'm going to drag the sample scene to the top, which is the game scene. And okay, before you press play, I'm going to press, I'm going to go to my play button 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 button. And I'm going to press on click and press plus. I'm going to drag in my menu manager and go to no function. I'm going to go to menu manager and type in and click on play. So now I can save the scene and press play. And let me wait a little bit for the level to connect. And after a couple seconds, I can press play. And there we go. We've loaded into my game scene. In the next tutorial, We'll start instantiating players. I'll see you there.